and welcome back and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Here's your latest housing market update for Arizona. Uh, this is because today, which is the 3rd of April, the Arizona Association of Realtors just announced the latest housing market update for uh, the month of March. So in today's video, I'm gonna share that report with you guys. We also have some trends I also wanna share according to altosresearch.com as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna to touch on what's happening right now for the state as a whole in Arizona. And of course, if you guys appreciate these timely housing market updates, then please hit the like button, I really appreciate that. And of course, also consider subscribing as well. I post frequent housing market updates so you guys can make a more informed decision about whether you should be buying or selling a house. And with that said, I have a lot to share. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And uh, in today's video, by the way, I'm gonna share as much as I can the current trends we're seeing right now compared to pre-COVID levels going back to 2018 and also 2019. This first report I wanna share with you guys today is based on the Association of Realtors in Florida here. And here's the report right here. Uh, which by the way, this is a, a monthly video I make for you guys, but this report here only covers single family houses, condos, townhomes, and apartment listings. In other words, it obviously excludes brand new construction, and of course it excludes multifamily, such as duplexes and triplexes, of course. So let's first talk about listings, which the Arizona Realtors defines as active listings, in other words, houses actually for sale, but also pending listings as well. So this includes houses for sale, but also houses under contract as well with a home buyer. So listings this March compared to March of 2022 are up by nearly 20%, approximately 20% more listings compared to one year ago. And also back in 2021, it was uh, more or less on par with 2022 at around 25,000 to 26,000 listings. Now there's 30,529. So listings are up by about 20% compared to the past couple of years. But when looking at uh, March of 2020, there was just over 35,000 listings. And by my uh, dumb math, that's a decrease of 14% over the past three years. On top of that, I actually look back to March of 2019, which is obviously pre-COVID levels. Back in March of 2019, there was 45,000 listings. Now again, there's only 30,529, and that's a decrease of 31%. Now here's something you guys should definitely be aware of. This is very, very important because back in 2022, at this time, and I'll see back in March of 2021, what happened? We also had a giant amount of uh, home buying demand. Therefore, we saw a huge increase in the number of contracts being signed between buyers and sellers. We also saw a huge decrease of active listings. Therefore, this number for 2022 and 2021, I would guess the vast majority of these figures right here, of around 25,000, is actually mainly due to the fact that we saw a huge increase in contracts being signed and not a giant increase of houses for sale. Whereas this year, it's exactly the opposite, right? We're seeing a huge increase in active listings, but a huge decrease of contracts being signed. But do not take my word for it. Take a look at this, because here is, wait for it, here's altusresearch.com for housing inventory for the state of Arizona for houses actually for sale excluding contracts signed between buyers and sellers. This is only based on houses actually for sale. So for the uh, week ended March 31st, there was just under 13,000 houses for sale in the state of Arizona, according to altusresearch.com. One year ago, that number was only 5,540. This means that housing inventory, the number of houses actually for sale, increased 133% compared to 12 months ago. This is obviously much different than the Arizona Realtors are reporting, only a gain of 19.8%. Let's also talk about the number of closed home sales in the Arizona housing market as well, according to the Arizona Realtors here. So for the month of March this year, there was just over 9,500 closed home sales in the state here. And this is down 28.5% compared to March of 2022, 
when at that time there was just over 13,300 houses that closed escrow. And looking at March of 2021, there was more or less the same number of closed home sales compared to 2022. However, though, look at this. March of 2020, there was just under 12,000 houses that closed. However, compared to March of 2020, there was just under 12,000 closed home sales. Now there's only 9,530. And as I note right here, this means that closed home sales decreased by 20% compared to March of 2020. Um, also, as I note right here, uh, March of 2020, when looking at closed home sales, this is really pre-COVID levels because uh, closed home sales for March of 2020 is when a home buyer got their offer accepted in mid-January through February of 2020, obviously before uh, this pandemic hit. So therefore, when looking at pre-COVID levels back in March of 2020, close home sales are still down by 20% compared to March of this year. Also back in March of 2019, there's just under 11,400 close home sales Therefore, 9,500 is historically low. I also wanna give you guys an update regarding home sold prices in Arizona. This is based on the median sold price in the state here. So for March of 2023, the median sold price was just under $353,000. Uh, one year ago, back in March of 2020, it was $366,000 which by the way, last year's highs was actually in March of 2022. Therefore, compared to the peak last year, and obviously compared to 12 months ago as well, uh, home sold prices are down by 3.8%. This is also the second month in a row in which we had year over year decreases in home sold prices in Arizona. Uh, February was the first month in many months in which we saw negative price growth compared to the previous 12 months and now it's down by 3.8% from last year's levels. There's a couple more things I do wanna mention regarding price trends here in Arizona because uh, this, uh, what, 3.8% decrease compared to one year ago is obviously a step in the right direction if you're looking to buy a house in Arizona if you wanna see prices come down, right? However, though, look at the prices compared to uh, March of 2020. Back then, the median sold price was only $225,000, now it's just under $353,000. This means prices have increased by 57% over the past three years. Also, just for fun, look at this, because here's a March 2022's report in which they shared here that prices increased a whopping 35.8% compared to March of 2021. So again, one year ago, we saw year-over-year -year price gains of 35.8%. Now it's down 3.8%. Let's also discuss the month's supply in Arizona as well, because according to the Arizona Realtors uh, for March, it's at 3.39 months. The month's supply is at more or less 3.4 months. One year ago, back in March of 2022, the month supply was only two months. And that equates to an increase of 62.6%. Uh, one thing I wanna mention yet again is this right here. It's saying here we need a six month supply to have a balanced real estate market. So this would imply at 3.39 months, this would be a very strong buyer's market, right? Which is an absolute joke, right? If we have a very strong buyer's market, then why did home prices decrease 3.8% compared to 12 months ago? In other words, if we have a very strong seller's market, that would mean that home sellers have a competitive advantage over home buyers. But if that's the case, then why did home prices decrease from a year ago? In my personal opinion, and this is just my opinion, let me know what you guys think. Uh, given the fact that prices had decreased by about 4%, over the past 12 months, this implies a more of a buyer's market than a seller's market. In other words, if we go from a two month supply all the way to a six month supply, that is a far stretch to say that's a balanced real estate market when inventory levels would have tripled over that time period. But what do you guys think about this? Uh, please leave me a comment below. Here's another metric in which it's telling me we have a buyer's market rather than a strong seller's market. Here's the percent of price reductions according to altusresearch.com 
for the state of Arizona. For the seven days ended March 31st, the share price drops was at 43%. As you can see in this graphic right here, this is at least a four year high uh, during that time frame. 43%, one year ago at this time, it was only 20%. Back in 2021, it was 14%. And back in April 2020, it was more or less 29%. And also in 2019, it was 38%. So in other words, at 43% right now, this is at least a four-year high during that same time frame. And with that said, please leave me a comment below with your biggest takeaways from today's video. Also, if you guys got any value, out of this video whatsoever, then please hit the like button. I could appreciate that. Of course, I appreciate you. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.